be sure to subscribe for more content. Hey guys and girls, it's Ben here. So today we're gonna to be talking about everything Ethereum and what I think the price prediction is gonna be before and after the Ethereum merge. Now, the Ethereum merge is happening sometime between September the 10th and September the 20th. We don't know exactly when, with Ethereum's website saying that it should have a deadline by September the 19th if there are no issues. And that is a big if, guys, because there are issues and this could be delayed. So nothing here is set in stone, um, but essentially it should be in this week between the 10th and 20th, um, according to the top article on Google. Um, so basically it should put us quite close by to where we are right now. So if we just have a look at the charts at the moment, we're sitting here right now, we're sitting at around 1,550 as we speak. And we're actually like wearing this kind of downtrend going from mid August all the way like this. Um, so it looks like in the immediate past that the price hasn't really been reacting positively to the news. And this is just at first glance, guys, we're gonna get more into it, but this at first glance, it doesn't look like the price is reacting to the news too positively. However, having said that, if we do go back in time with Ethereum, there was a massive, massive run up that we had from mid June all the way to mid August, oops, like this. And you can see that was 129% gain from its all time low in mid June there. Um, so there was a very big pump for Ethereum. However, if we have a look at broader market conditions like the S&P, for example, the pump can be pretty well explained with the pump in the general stock market. So it doesn't look like uh, it had much to do with the Ethereum merges pump. Uh, so right now we actually have a few days left to the Ethereum merge. At the time of making this video, we have about 10 days left. So there is still a lot of time for the price to run up. Basically, there is a big bull case for Ethereum merge um, being very bullish on Ethereum in general. If it's not delayed and if everything is delivered smoothly, we could see this price definitely, definitely run up in my opinion. Now, of course, if we first go onto uh, Google Trends here um, and have a look at this, so Ethereum merge, you can see that in the past 12 months, these search results have really been shooting up. More and more people are searching up what the Ethereum merge is. There's more interest in what is going on. And that is gonna bring eyeballs back into the cryptocurrency space. That is gonna bring more potential buyers. Um, so that is the first case we have for Ethereum merge. Sorry, the first bull case we have for Ethereum merge. Um, that more, there is more interest in this field because of this merge that is happening and people wanna know about it. So technically Ethereum's in a very interesting area right now. Um, for Ethereum price to shoot up, what we need Ethereum to do really is for it to kind of go past this resistance that we have here and kind of shoot up from there. There's actually quite a lot of resistances that I can see on Ethereum right now, but this is quite a prominent one. Um, we had another one go like this that Ethereum crossed, which is really good to see. And now we've got a second one, which is this big one here, which again has been tested quite a few times. So you can see there's a couple of peaks there, a peak there, and we've got now this peak here and the price is really closing in to this gray line that I have here. I'm gonna color this in blue um, so that you guys can see it a little bit clearer. So there we go. So that's our main resistance that we're looking at right now. If the price can break through that resistance, then we can see the price soar uh, in anticipation of the Ethereum merge as well. And of course, this price level that I'm looking at is a long-term one. If we get our trusty rectangle here, we can kind of draw a price level that looks kind of like this. Uh, I'm just gonna move this up. So you can see that this here is a long term support level. You can see there's a couple of peaks way back here and we've got a couple more peaks uh, on this shelf here before it broke down below it. So I think this is a major, major level that we should be seeing Ethereum rise to next. So if we can break this resistance here, we can see the price go to this level here. And if we can break past this level even, then we could be shooting higher. And I would expect the price to hit roughly around 2,200, and I'll show you why. Um, basically, it's a level that I have been eyeing for for a while. And of course, if we draw the Fibonacci level is kind of like this, then 2,200 coincides absolutely perfectly with the 0 0.5 Fibonacci down there. You can see that it's been respected quite a few times. If you draw a Fibonacci from the top here at the start of April 2022 to the bottom in mid-June, 
And additionally as well, not just looking at the Fibonacci levels, if we go onto the log scale for Ethereum, uh, and I'll show you where I got the source from in a moment, but essentially if we go on this log scale of Ethereum, we can kind of draw trend lines that look like this as well. So we can gain a support, a very long-term support on Ethereum here. And it looks like that we are very close to the support. So if we can touch his support uh, with a price that goes no lower than around 1500 we can bounce off the support and um, then we can see the price rise then we could even potentially see the price rise to as high as around 2400 2500 i would say so this is another thing to look out for this is kind of looking potentially like a bear flag um, so a bear flag would be where the price dips down very hard like this and there is a temporary relief in a bullish direction before another breakdown that looks like a flagpole similar to this kind of price action back here as well so this is what a bear flag is this was pointed out from a news article um, but it does make quite a lot of sense um, and this pattern would be in play if we can respect this support line here so this support line is going up right now like i say if we see a price stay above 1500 dollars uh, then we should be able to see the price go up uh, my target like i say is 2200 but if we can hit the resistance here maybe it can go as high as 2400 2500 now of course what i'm also looking for as well um so in my bull case of Ethereum hitting 2,200, when do I see this happening? Is it before the Ethereum merge or is it after the Ethereum merge? Well, in my opinion, I do think that the price will only touch 2,200 after the Ethereum merge. I think a lot of investors in Ethereum will probably want to see Ethereum merge work successfully first before they start pouring their money in. I think this level is very possible before the merge, just, just based off the merge bringing attention to ethereum and cryptocurrencies in general i think the price will go up in anticipation of the merge but i think the majority of the gains will be had after the merge after everything has worked smoothly and after everything has gone well and of course like i said at the start guys this is a big if as well so if it doesn't go well then i don't think we will see that 2200 mark however if everything does go well then 2200 probably possible towards the end of september or the start of october and that's when i expect to see it uh, so that is my bull case. Um, obviously, firstly, like I say, I want to see this 1,700 level passed before we can see 2,200. So before the merge, 1,700, I think, is my price target. However, everything is going to be dependent as well on the broader market conditions because, as you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin, all cryptocurrencies are affected by broad market conditions, what's happening in the stock market and everything like that. So... So I think another condition for this 2,200 price on Ethereum for to be attainable is that the stock market has to be pumping as well. What I'm also looking for as well is what's our correlation coefficient here. And we just kind of compare what Ethereum is doing relative to the S&P 500, our broad market index. Then you can see that, you know, Ethereum is actually very, very correlated. There's a few times where the correlation is inversed. But if we have a look at these figures here, one being the highest correlation possible, at the moment, we're at about 0.8 for a correlation coefficient. Anything above 0.7 is a strong correlation. So Ethereum at the moment is strongly correlated to the stock market. So if we have a look at the stock market open, um, not tomorrow, but on Tuesday, and things are heading south throughout the whole week, then Ethereum will probably follow and maybe the Ethereum merge won't be as successful for the price as we would hope for. And in that case, if that does happen, then I see a price target of around 1400 before the Ethereum merge. And it could probably, and if the stock market keeps falling from there, I think some big levels that I would watch out for, um, for Ethereum to fall to uh, is this one here around 1250 and this level here as well at the 1000 mark. So if the stock market opens red the next two weeks, then I see the price continuing this pattern here on Ethereum. Um, if I just draw this in blue here like this, um, we can see that there is a bottom support kind of line there, which the price has bounced off a few times. Uh, let me make this a different color so you guys can see that a little bit better. So these are our price levels that we look for. And this is the downwards channel here. So this is a support line down here. 
and this is our resistance. If we can break through this resistance, then that's all well and jolly. But if we can't, then we could continue heading down. And of course, I'd want to see the price test 1400. If it keeps falling, if the stock market keeps falling, then we could see it touch this level here, 1260. And if it continues falling, it'll probably fall like this. And we could see Ethereum hits 1000. And obviously, what I'm looking for here is what's happening in the stock market and how correlated Ethereum is with the stock market. If we see the correlation go like this, where it starts to invert, then I'm gonna be paying less attention on the stock market because the price is driven by the Ethereum merge news more than it is by broader market conditions. So in summary, I'm looking at this correlation coefficient um, if this drops, that means Ethereum is less correlated with the stock market and therefore I'm going to give what's happening in the stock market less weight into what my decisions are. However, if this correlation stays high, then I'm going to continue seeing what's happening in stocks um, to see what the Ethereum price may do. Now, my price predictions for Ethereum are therefore if Ethereum can break this resistance. If I go on a shorter time frame, if we can break this resistance here, if we can see a breakout with a large green candle and the price heading north towards 1,700, then I am going to be bullish on Ethereum going up all the way to 2,200. Um, however, if we don't break this resistance uh, and the correlation for the stock market stays high, and the stock market opens red on Tuesday, then I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty bearish on Ethereum and I'm going and I'll be looking for Ethereum price to be hitting the next target for me for around 1270, 1260. And if it keeps falling from there, I think Ethereum could see $1,000, maybe even less. But my price target, if the stock market opens red uh, and we can't break this resistance here, that is my price target, 1260 If we can break it, then my price target is 2200 So that's where I, I think I see Ethereum going. Obviously, guys, this is just my opinion on everything. And you should look at what other people say as well. Maybe they do have different opinions, kind of, weigh up what I've said versus what they said and make your own decisions before investing. So guys, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Thank you for watching. Basically, if you want to see where I got this idea for this bear flag, you can come into this article at Cointelegraph. Um, if you type in Ethereum Merchant News on Google, you'll be able to find these guys. But they alerted me for this, so credits to them. Um,